What else do you think you know about elephants? They have long um, trunks. Okay. That they suck up water in their trunk and then spray it into their mouth. Okay. They take baths or showers with their trunks. In school, children learn how to read and understand new information. Through reading, they learn about history, science, and other subjects. Workbook pages, stories, or books that contain facts are called informational text. We're going to take turns. How many so elephants would fit in a school bus finger. is an example of an informational text sentence. because it gives children there facts about elephants. elephants. African elephants are huge. Asian elephants are a little bit smaller, but they are still big. To become fluent readers, children should be able to read all types of stories and informational text. They need to read accurately, smoothly, and at a good speed. They need to understand the meaning of the stories and books. The male elephants leave their herd when they are about 14 years old but to increase fluency follow these three steps first before reading the story ask questions to help your child focus on it second read the story to your child and then help your child read the story to you third after you read the story Ask your child questions about it. 300 to 400 pounds. 300 to 400 pounds of a day. How many kalins would that be? Probably like a hundred. Children will pay closer attention if you ask them to think about what a story or book might be about before they start reading. This also helps them understand and remember what they've read. Before reading, how many elephants would fit in a school bus? Ask three what questions. And the title of the story is how many elephants would fit in a school bus? So, what do you think this story is going to be about? You can use these types of questions with any book or story your child is reading. Just follow these three general what questions. Trying to see how many elephants can fit in a school bus. Okay. What do you know about elephants? Uh, nothing. Nothing? You don't know anything about elephants? I know that they're big. And they're big. What else do you think you know about elephants? They have long um, trunks. Okay. That they suck up water in their trunk and then spray it into their mouth. Okay. They take baths or showers with their trunks. They suck up water and um, spray it out on their backs. Okay. Um, that's basically all I know. That's, what would you like to learn about elephants? Um, how much weight they are. How, how heavy they are, okay. All right, well let's, let's read this story. I'm gonna read this story to you first, okay? How many elephants Sit down with your child to read. Bus. Sit next there to your child so that of both of you can see the story. African elephants are huge. Asian elephants are a little bit smaller but they are still big. Read the story out loud to him. Is big. Make the reading fun and interesting ears, by changing your voice. It has big Point eyes, to the big words as you read them. Big read slowly enough that your child doesn't get lost or confused. This helps Even him become familiar with the story and learn new and words and how to pronounce born, them so that he can read smoothly. Tall compared to a human baby that is less than two feet tall. When you were born, you, were pro you probably weighed about seven pounds. Imagine seven pounds of butter. Baby elephants weigh about 200 pounds, as much as a big man. 
When your child is familiar with the story, begin taking turns. Have him read a sentence, then you read the next one. Then he reads the third, and so on. They eat 300 to 400 pounds of food every day. It is not easy for them to find enough so food, food. so they have to walk a long way looking for food looking for um for something to eat an elephant also ha- has a long nose called a trunk If he has difficulty, read the first sentence to him. Have him be a copycat by reading the same sentence back to you. Go on to the next sentences until you reach the end of the story. When baby elephants are born, they are about three feet tall compared to a human baby that is less than two feet tall. When... Baby elephants are born. They are. They, baby. About three feet tall, compared to a um human, human body baby. baby. That is. Read the story again and have him read a sentence first. Then you be the copycat. Two feet tall. Elephants are very smart animals. They can remember things from a... Four. For a number of years. Like where to find water. They even remember who is friendly and who might be and who might hunt them. Why don't you finish it off? Okay. Elephants are wonderful animals. Good. So what did you learn from this story? The elephants can remember stuff from number of years. They're very smart, correct? After you've read the story a few times together, ask him if he was right in what he thought the story would be about. Um, the pound of a school bus. Pound of a school bus, right? And you were correct. What do they use their trunks for? Um. Taking showers. Taking showers, like you said before, right? Compare his answer um, to what he said what before you started what reading the story. What they use their for? Um, stripping barks off trees. Mm-hmm. Another way to help your child remember things from the story what is to ask him more questions else? about it. With informational text and stories, ask specific questions to see what he's learned. Have him go back and find the answers in the story if he doesn't know. Do you remember how much food elephants eat each day? Uh, If you or your child um, gets tired, stop and come back to the story and activities on another day. The more your child enjoys reading um, and doing the activities, the more fluent in reading he will become. 300 to 400 pounds. 300 to 400 pounds of a day. How many kalins would that be? Note that you can use these same activities with another story or book. You can follow the same order of activities, or you can change the order or choose the activities that you think will be most helpful and the most fun for your child. As a dad, sometimes it's a little intimidating to want to go off of a set of instructions to read with your child. 
But after I allowed myself to do that, it actually became uh, very natural and it made it a lot of fun for both him and myself. He did very well and he wanted to read the words, even the ones that he couldn't pronounce. How many elephants would fit in a school bus is the second of three tip sheets for improving children's fluency. If your child has difficulty with the activities in this tip sheet, we suggest that you ask for the first tip sheet on fluency, the two best cakes, reading fluency number one. After trying the activities in that tip sheet, come back and try this tip sheet. If your child is having a hard time with these activities, talk to your child's teacher. There may be another tip sheet or other activity to help. If you enjoy these activities, tell your child's teacher. The teacher may have more ideas to share for learning fun at home. How many elephants would fit in a school bus? None. They couldn't get through the door.